In this video, we use Python to load and save layer definition files. Let's add a new shapefile to an empty project right now. The one we're going to use is Road Center Lines, found under 2, Managing Layers and Projects with Python. I'm just going to drag and drop that into a brand new project. I'm going to choose the very first option here for a coordinate system, the UTM Zone 10 North. So by default, QGIS assigns a random color, in this case green. I'm going to change this color to red. So let's double click on that layer. And under Symbology, I'm going to choose a more red color. There we are. And hit OK. So now I have a red layer called Road Center Lines. And I could rename this, so maybe I want to rename the layer. I'll call it My Roads, like that. Now, at any point, I can save this layer by exporting it to a layer definition file. Layer definition files are great. What they are, they're individual files that keep track of the layer name, where the data is, what color it is, all that sort of stuff. It's basically a mini map that stores just one layer. The beautiful thing about that is you can add those layers to any project, whether the project already exists or you're starting a new project, and you can put them on the network so anyone else can use them. This is a very effective way to manage standards. Now, this isn't just unique to QGIS. Other GISs, such as ArcMap and ArcGIS Pro also have this, as does AutoCAD Map and so on. So regardless of the GIS you're using, these layer definition files are fantastic. Now, they're not compatible between GISs, so the layer definition file that we create here in QGIS only works in QGIS. Let's save this one. So my roads, I'm just going to put on the desktop, and I'll just call it my roads. And you'll see the extension is a QLR. That's a layer definition right there. It's basically a QGIS layer. So QLR. So my roads. Now, if I start a brand new project and discard this one, discard, and I go to my desktop, I can drag and drop my roads QLR into my project, and you'll see. There's my roads named just like I named it. It's red, just like we changed. And if I look at the properties of the information, you can see it still points to the road center line shape. So this mini map, this QLR file is available to me. Let's look at how we would load QLR files using Python. So under the plugins, go to plugin console, and then we're going to open up the editor and browse to the Python code under 2, Managing Layers and Projects with Python, Python. And this one, we're going to add layer definition. So we're going to add an existing QLR file to our project. So the very first thing we do is get an instance of our project, QGS project instance. So now that we have it, we can get the layer tree root. Well, you'll notice in the code it says QGS project instance. Well, didn't we get that up here? Yes. So if we want, we can actually change that code right there to the word instance. There we go. So we have an instance here, and then we say in this project, get the layer tree root. So this little pane here called layers, it'll get the root list of layers in there. So now that we have the root list of layers, we can use that to add a new layer to it. So where is the layer? The layer is actually in the desktop, exercise files, managing layers and projects with Python, data, and there's an easements QLR file that we're going to add. This is great because now we have a QRL file, we have an instance and a group. If we have those three things, we can use Python to add it. So we get the layer definition, then we say load layer definition. We grab the path of where the QLR file is, we get the instance of the project where the new layer definition is going to go, and it's going to just go in the root group. So if I hit run right now, so it ran it, you'll see there's easements has been added. If I zoom in, you can see it's already been modified. It's a different color. If I were to drag and drop easements in, it would give a random color. If I actually go into the easements definition, you'll see in the symbology, the opacity is actually 50%, so that's already been pre-authored. And that's great. So basically, the layer styles and all those sorts of things can be standardized and saved as these layer definitions that I can even add using Python. How do we save a layer using Python? OK, let's start a brand new project. We'll discard everything. And I'm going to add those road center lines again. And again, UTM, that's fine. And I'm going to change the color to maybe a darker red, 
like that, okay? And I'm gonna leave the name alone, Road Center Lines this time. Next, we're gonna open up another Python file, and this time it's called Save Layer Definition PY. So in this save layer definition, we're gonna use Python to save a QLR rather than loading one. So this will save one. So we'll get the instance, my instance in this case, and then we use my instance to get the road center lines. Now it's saying get the map layers by name, and then we put square bracket zero square bracket. What that means is in this current project, there might be multiple layers called road center lines. So this gets the very first one. That's what the bracket zero bracket. Get the very first layer in my project called road center lines. Once you have this layer that's in the project called road center lines, then we go into the layer list over here and grab the layer tree root. So that's all the layers in this list. Well, here's the neat thing. Once we have that single layer, it has a unique ID. So that means that we've got the right layer Let's get its unique ID, that road layer dot ID, and then find which one that is defined inside the tree root. So rather than saying, get the layers in the legend by name and then get the first one it comes across, we actually get the unique ID from the layers in the global project road layer and use that to get the perfect one from our layer list. So we actually have two layers. We have the global layer that's in our project, and then we have the layer that actually is listed in our layer list here. The reason they're different is one represents the layer and all the graphics inside the project, whereas this little my layer just represents the layer definition itself, meaning what color is it, what's its name, what is its projection system, all that sort of stuff is stored in this my layer versus everything stored in the road layer. So we need that very specific root my layer so that we can get the color and all that sort of thing to save it as a QLR file. So how do we save it as a layer definition? Well, we go QGS layer definition, export layer definition, and it needs a few things. It needs the location where we're going to save it. I'm just going to put it on my desktop as test. So these red road center lines will be stored as a QLR file on my desktop. Just call it test. And in square brackets, again, because you can pass multiple definitions here, I'm only passing one. In square brackets, I'm passing my layer. Remember, my layer is the definition in the legend here, not the global one. So I'm passing the legend definition, my layer, because that contains all the great information like its color and so on. So it uses that to stuff all that information into the QLR file. Well, let's run this. Again, remember, I'm putting it in my desktop, my name. You have to change this path if you want to put it in the right place. Okay, let's run it. And sure enough, it exported. So I've had no errors or anything like that. So if I start a brand new project, discard, I can go to my desktop and just minimize that and grab the test URL that I just made. Go back into QGS. Here we are. Drag and drop it in. And sure enough, there's the road center lines that we just created as test QLR. Now remember, once the QLR file is loaded, there's no longer a connection to the original file. It's been absorbed into my project. And if I change that QLR file in any way, it won't reflect my current project. I'd have to drag that layer in again to get the change because it doesn't tie back. It's only going to import the settings. It's not going to tie back to the settings. So that's a very important distinction. So you saw inside of QGIS how to add a layer definition that already exists and how to save one from scratch that's already been made inside the map using Python.